Hello everyone. Welcome to Indo Archaeology Research. Let us begin our journey to understand and study the basic terms and basics in archaeology with the first video from our series Introduction to Archaeology. In this video, we are going to discuss about what is archaeology, its definition, the development of archaeology in the world and India, and some of the common concepts related to it. This video also throws light on the relevance of archaeology in modern world. So, let's begin. Let's look at the first slide. What is archaeology? Archaeology is the study of ancient human past through material remains. It covers the vast area of human study. Archaeological remains consist of numerous forms, but the two basic ones are artifacts and faunal remains. The study of archaeology deals with the human past. Understanding the humankind is its aim. Archaeologists study all physical traces encountered both in excavations and explorations as movable and immovable objects and also tangible and intangible evidences. Archaeology depends on understanding of humans and society. Now that we have looked into what is archaeology, let's look at the definition of archaeology. How do we define archaeology? The term archaeology is derived from Greek terms archaeos meaning ancient and logos meaning discussion. Archaeology is a science by which remains of ancient man can be methodically studied to obtain a clear picture. It is the study of human behavior and cultural changes that happened in the past. It studied cultures and their patterns of change in an attempt to delineate the causes and effects of cultural processes. So far, we have learned what is archaeology and what is its definition. Now, Let's look at the similarities and differences between history and archaeology. So what is history? History is the interpretation of the past in words of a historian. It is the record of past events. While the study of history is related to the time periods where there were written records available, archaeology also studies the time when there were no written records available. Archaeological data combined with historical records can produce a complete picture of man and culture. Then what's the difference between history and archaeology? The basic difference between history and archaeology is that history is the collection of past events while archaeology is the search. History primarily focuses on the narratives written by people of the past. Historians study older documents and artifacts and create an interpretation of the past. Archaeologists excavate artifacts that both the archaeologists and historians study. Next, we come to the history of archaeology. By nature, human beings always possessed the instinct of curiosity about things of the past. In most of the societies, Man's curiosity of understanding the past has been satisfied by myths and legends. In few societies, there are some written records and monuments providing a chronological framework and information about what happened in the past. It was this fascination for antiques that gave birth to the study of archaeology. The interest of the Europeans in collecting and displaying the ancient remains is closely connected with the Renaissance movement in the 15th century. The city of Rome attracted attention of the artists. The excavation and collection of Italy's antiquities was financed. The Ashmolean Museum housed the collection of antiquities made by Thomas Howard. Egypt and the valleys of Tigris and Euphrates attracted attention of the art collection in the 18th century. 
Claudius reached, the British consul in Baghdad made rich collections from many Mesopotamian sites. These collections formed a part of the British Museum. 19th century Europe saw the development of scientific archaeology. Early stone tools have been identified in Europe since the mid 16th century. John Frere suggested a great age for the artifacts found in Suffolk, England, based on their location strata. The discoveries of Jack Boucher de Perth in the Somme Valley in France were used to demonstrate the antiquity of man in 1859. John Lubbock coined the term Paleolithic in his book Prehistoric Times in 1865. Human interest in unraveling and understanding of the past gave a start for the locating, collecting and interpreting of artifacts. This curiosity laid the foundation of archaeology. Archaeology passed through various stages of development. Now that we have seen the history of archaeology in the world, let's have a look at the history and its development in India. So, history of archaeology in India. The formal beginning of Indian archaeology can be traced back to the middle of 13th century. In 1784, Sir William Jones founded the Asiatic Society. Colonel Mackenzie realized the importance of the antiquities lying buried. He attracted the attention of scholars for the first time towards the megalithic monuments of South India. James Princip laid the foundation of scientific approach to the study. It was his scientific outlook which led to a number of remarkable discoveries. His greatest contribution was deciphering the Brahmi and Kharosti scripts. Colonel Meadows Taylor studied the South Indian megaliths. In 1861, Alexander Cunningham was appointed as the first archaeological surveyor. Robert Brush Foote of the Geological Survey brought into light a Paleolithic tool from Pallavaram in Tamil Nadu. A.C. Carlyle discovered microliths in the rock shelter in Mirzapur along with Mesolithic paintings during 1863-1885. Cunningham's successor in the survey, James Burgess, was inspired by the tradition of architectural studies that were initiated by James Ferguson. In 1872, he started a journal, Indian Antiquary. Inscriptional studies were put on a more secure basis with the series Epigraphica Indica. Marshall directly shaped the course of Indian archaeology until 1928 when he retired. Conservation of ancient monuments and objects was among his first priorities and the basic principles of conservation laid down by him in the Indian context are still followed by the survey. The spectacular discovery of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro during the early 20s of the century brought about a great deal of interest in Indian archaeology among the scholars. So far we have covered what is archaeology and the definition of archaeology. We have also looked, looked into the history of archaeology in the world and in India. Now let's look at some of the important concepts in archaeology. So the key concepts in archaeology. First comes archaeological sites. An archaeological site is any place where there are physical remains of past human activities. An archaeological site is composed of trash and leftovers of ancient men. It is preserved in the form of records. Prehistoric archaeological sites are those without a written record. They may include villages or cities, rock art, cemeteries, monuments, etc. Historical archaeology sites are another example. Next come artifacts. Artifacts are objects which are made and used by humans. Archaeologists analyze these artifacts to learn about the people who made and used them in the past. Among the physical remains, artifacts occupy a primary position. Next, we come to an important concept of dimensions of record. First comes space. Space, 
special locus is an observable dimension of artifactual context. There are many levels of spatial connect if one considers the physical location of site of settlement. The spatial context of archaeology is important. The assumption is that material remains left behind in spatial location correspond more or less directly to their original place of utilization. Next comes the form. Form is an important dimension of artifactual materials. A particular artifact will not only have a special context in a site, it will also have a formal context by belonging to a class of artifacts defined by a unique combination of shared attributes. After this, we have time. Time is not a visible dimension of archaeological materials. It must be derived from space and form dimensions. Time is the framework against which we study cultural development. Last, we have the context. Context in archaeology refers to the relationship that artifacts have to each other and to their surroundings. Every artifact found on an archaeological site has a defined location. Archaeologists record the exact spot where they find an artifact before removing it from the location. When an artifact is removed without recording its location, the context is lost forever. Context allows archaeologists to understand the relationships between artifacts and between archaeological sites. Now we come to two most important points in archaeology, the exploration process and the survey. So what is exploration? Archaeological exploration is the non-destructive scientific survey and documentation of sites. It is the method by which attempts are made to detect unknown sites to understand the archaeological potential of the site. While exploring, archaeologists try to look for the possible cultural and natural transformations through which the site may have passed during the past many years. After exploration, we have the survey. One of the key problems archaeologists face is to find the full range of surviving evidence for past human activity or habitation within a given area. Sites must first be discovered before they can be explored in more detail. Most of the record of human past is to be found in vast numbers of much less prominent sites. Surface survey is the chief methodology for collecting information at the regional scale. Field walking or pedestrian survey is one of the most important site survey methods in archaeological explorations. It involves walking over the surface of the site, observing and collecting the material remains. It is the collection of archaeological finds from the sites to gather samples of artifacts from the surface. Next, we come to the sampling techniques. What are sampling techniques? Let's see what is sampling. Sampling is one of the important tasks of archaeologists as it provides invaluable information on various environmental, social and cultural factors. Sampling is a process where researchers take a predetermined number of observations from large population. It allows the researchers to conduct studies about large group by using a smaller portion of population. Sampling is a strategy that archaeologists use to investigate a region, a site or set of artifacts. An excavation sampling strategy should obtain enough information that allow reasonable interpretations of a site or era. Now that we have looked into some of the concepts in archaeology, let's look at the meaning of what excavation is. So, Excavation is the procedure by which archaeologists define, retrieve and record cultural and biological remains found in the ground. Past activities that leave traces in the form of house foundations, graves, artifacts, bones, seeds, etc. indicate human presence. These remains get buried under the soil layers. 
the site formation process refers to the events that created and affected an archaeological site before during and after its occupation by humans archaeological sites are the remains of human behavior and each site was created in a specific environment lake shore mountain side cave plains etc each site was used and modified and eventually abandoned the excavation process involves the removal of soil sediment or rock that covers artifacts or any other evidence early excavation techniques involved destructive random digging and removal of objects with little or no location data recorded modern excavations are careful extraction of sediments in very thin layers and being careful with measuring and recording two methods are used for the excavation of archaeological site prominently let's look at the two methods vertical excavation reveals the stratigraphy of the site it discloses the entire cultural deposit of the site then we have the horizontal excavation it aims to expose the deposits horizontally after excavation we come to yet another important concept of stratigraphy stratigraphy is basically the analysis and interpretation of depositional layers or strata in excavated area it involves a careful consideration of the characteristics of individual soil layers in order to understand how these layers are related to one another studying the different layers of soil is stratigraphy it is the study of layered material that got deposited over time the basic law of stratigraphy the law of superposition states that lower layers are older than upper layers stratified deposits may include soils sediments and rocks as well as man made features such as pits and post holes now we come to the recording part so what is recording the archaeological record is a log maintained about the artifacts that are found during excavations or explorations it is maintained in physical form the archaeological record is the physical record of human prehistory and history it can consist of the earliest findings human activity has a large impact on the archaeological record these records have to be properly documented and preserved so far we have seen the meaning definition of archaeology and some of its important concept the question remains what's the relevance of archaeology in today's times in the modern world so let's look at the next slide for the answer relevance of archaeology to the modern world knowledge of the modern world comes from a variety of sources the goal of archaeology is to understand how and why human behavior has changed over time archaeologists search for patterns in the evolution of significant cultural events it provides a history and heritage to many cultures understanding patterns and changes in human behavior enhances our knowledge of the past the archaeologists enhanced the knowledge about past and also provided us important materials Archaeology is important for the future as it helps us understand how and why cultures changed in the past. This helps to have a better grasp of human behavior and how we shape the world. With this, we come to the end of the first video in the series. So far in this video, we covered about the basics of archaeology, the meaning and definition, the history of archaeology in the world and in India, its beginning. then we covered some of the basic concepts of archaeology so stay tuned for more of such videos by indo archaeology research we will be back soon with more of such educational content thank you